everybody, it's Christina, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a really, really fun video, and I'm going to create a, um, my version of a vampire look, and just kind of what comes to my mind, and what I create. So, if you guys are interested in seeing what I create, please keep watching. Okay, so to start, I'm just going to do my eyebrows, and I did that with this Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills 15 brush, and I used the darkest color in my peak espresso natural stain brow powder set that I have here there's a light color that I normally use and kind of blend with this darker one but I just took the darker one today and I just instead of doing what I normally do I just went in and carved out the shape that I wanted just kind of following my natural brow but keeping it really thin next I'm gonna go in with my elf porcelain flawless finish foundation I love this foundation if you need a cheap alternative I would definitely recommend trying this it's really really affordable and I like it a lot for me personally foundation was kind of my natural color I'm gonna go in with my wet n wild Fergie center stage um, take on the day mattifying powder to give me kind of a lighter look with this trying to make more of a you know a vampire-ish type of look so I'm just gonna use my brush swirl it in here and kind of pack it on see if it'll lighten this up a little bit this all looking like how I'm wanting to so far I'm gonna try creating a look for the very first time <laughs> with my new naked urban decay smoky palette I have been super super sick lately so I haven't had a chance to even really get out of bed and then my son was sick today so I'm just glad that I'm feeling better so I could take care of him um, but I'm gonna try and do a look. I think I'm gonna try and go with the like the purple and the black kind of in here and create a look. Um, I think that's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to grab my crease. Well, let's try using this new brush that came in here. I love the brushes that come in my sets normally. This will be my first naked palette, so I'm pretty excited. It's a really nice brush. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with the, like a gray color, it's called Password, like a grayish purplish color from what I can see right now. Let's see, it looks kind of grayish. Since we're doing a vampire look, we're going to kind of go, you know, with the grays to start with here in the crease. <laughs> I know the way that my lighting is the one side looks darker than the other but I've stared at it for a few minutes now and it looks pretty even so whoops <laughs> there they are pretty even I know this side looks a little darker um, but I got them as even as I can so now I'm gonna grab another brush and we're gonna go in with the purple color then uh, the purple color that we're gonna go in with is called smolder 
So let's see here. Since, of course, I'm always going for a glam-ish type of look, we're going to go in with the color Armor. I'm going to put that on my lid. color that I want to be for my inner corner highlight because y'all know I love my inner corner highlight to be popping so I'm hoping this color right here high is going to do that for me I haven't even swatched these yet so I wanted to try to create a look with only this palette because I know I kind of try to blend more than one palette so let's just see if this palette itself is a standalone palette for me lighting very well but I will definitely do pictures and stuff in different lighting and do different shots so you guys can see this whole look so the last part that I'm going to do from this palette is going to be my under eye color and I think I'm going to go in with the color password again that we started with and we're going to do that under the eye with my new Wet n Wild smudgy pencil. I love this thing. If I ever see this in any of my stores, I will have to grab it for you guys for a giveaway because this thing is awesome. I am super impressed with these brushes. blended the the inner corner and that all together and kind of blended it out and I know everyone does this differently but I always do this part last I'm gonna go in with my brow highlight and I'm gonna use this color called 13 it's the lightest color in here the matte yellowish whitish color here and I'm just gonna go underneath Everyone does their different makeup differently, huh? <laughs> I think that's what makes it so interesting to watch other people's videos because it's not how I do different looks, but I think it's so cool how creative some people can be. So that's why I like watching different makeup looks. Okay, so I know this isn't like a totally crazy look or anything, but that is what I've created so far. I'm also going to go in right now with the Tyra... Uh, line them liner and I'm gonna go in with catch the man and I'm gonna line my top and bottom lines my water line and my top lid going to go in with the Wet n Wild Max Fanatic Cat Eye Mascara. how these separate my lashes if you guys can see that I really really like this 
very nice. So then I'm gonna go in next. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Pacifica um, Ethereal. see that in this light but I will definitely try to get a good picture of it for sure if you can't see it it's so pretty I love this I'm gonna go in with my tardiest tart lip paint in the color swamp family we're going to try this out I've never worn this before so we're gonna see how how this looks everything off I'm gonna spray it with the NYX matte finish long-lasting setting spray Woo! that feels so refreshing <laughs> I just love doing that okay and then we're going to add my final touches and I will be right back Hope you guys like the finished look. <laughs> Definitely give me a thumbs up. just tried a second color option and this is the Revlon HD lipstick in iris and it's kind of like a darky purple it's not really pulling up on camera that way but it's kind of a dark purpley brownish color for some reason on camera it's looking kind of reddish but you just add that on there add your fangs and you're good to go <laughs> Definitely let me know which one you guys liked best. If you guys like the red or if you like this iris purpley color. Dark purpley.